This one is all about the SI units. Let's take a look at the SI system. The background to it, this is the standard system of measurement used by scientists all over the world. America needs to get with the program and use it more often. America! So we abbreviate it SI because the French started it and they would call it something like Système International. This system is cut up into your most basic units and then derived units. So basic units are the simplest quantities of our universe. They are things like length, width, and height are 3D, three dimensions, but they're all measured in meters because they're all considered lengths on different axes like X, Y, and Z axes. Time is another base unit. It's measured in seconds. Derived units would be units made up or derived of base units. So you'd have speed, which is going to be miles per hour. And in physics, we always use the meters per second. Let's take a look at how many base units exist currently in our universe. We know about seven of them. And so you can see on this messed up table that I got from the internet, a couple mistakes here on this uh, table. I want to point those out to you. So time, time is fine. It, the base unit is second, abbreviated with a little s, but then length, the base unit is the meter, but it's abbreviated with a little m, not an s. And kilograms okay, Kelvin's okay, capital K for Kelvin. Uh, the mole is written M O L E. And the abbreviation is M O L, not much of an abbreviation, but there it is. And ampere, sometimes said amps for short, is abbreviated capital A. And then candela is C D. And candela is probably the least used one in your basic physics and chemistry courses. So how many SI units can you identify on the next slide? Let's do a little practice time. Consider which of these are base units and which are derived units. If it's not a base unit, it's a derived unit. Here we go. Okay, so we have 12 here in our little practice units memory quiz. We've got our temperature, time, mass, length, area, volume, density, velocity, electric current, amount of substance, force and energy. You could pause it right now and check out can you think of these units, but here I'm gonna just go ahead and deliver the answers to you. And so we can see that temperature is Kelvin, time, seconds, mass is kilograms. And you're gonna to wanna to use kilograms, not grams in your physics equations. And then we get down to length as meters. Now area and volume are just combinations or derived units from length. And so area is describing two dimensions length where you take a length and a width and multiply them so you multiply meters times meters so you get meters squared and then volume is going to give you your cubic meters because you're going to take length width and height all multiply those together and so isn't that just a lovely density I've written here I've written grams per cubic centimeter but that may just depend on the application you're currently viewing you're dividing this out of a mass and a volume so you would want to actually stick with kilograms over cubic meters if you wanted to really stay there, but grams per cubic centimeter is often more user friendly. And then velocity is always going to be meters per second. Your electric current is the ampere, the amount of substance is the mole. And then force and energy are named after some physicists. So is ampere. That's why they're capitalized. And so is Kelvin, actually. All of your units named after a scientist are going to be capitalized in their abbreviations in honor of that scientist's name. Meters and seconds are not capitalized because there was no like Dr. Meter or something like that. If you're wondering which one of these are base units and which one of these are derived units, numbers one through four base units and nine and 10 are also base units and then your derived are there in pink. I mixed it up a little bit just to mess with you, just to see if you could hang out with your base and derived units. Hey, thanks for watching and look forward to teaching you the next topic, which is gonna be metric prefixes. <laughs>